I'm gonna show you how to instantly import finished 3D models into your Blender scene. We're gonna skip the introduction and just get straight to the point. Step one, you have to visit this link over here. It's going to be down in the description. When you click on this link, you will find another link. Click on the second link. You will then have to copy some code. So select everything starting from BL underscore info all the way down to the very last letter. You're gonna have to copy all this code Next, you're gonna have to open up Blender and you're gonna split your workspace in half. Now, on one of the sides, you're gonna have to change your workspace from 3D view to text editor. Inside the text editor, you're gonna have to click on the new button and then paste all the code that you copied from that page a few seconds ago. Now, in the top left corner of the text editor, you're gonna find a menu called text. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna press save as and you're gonna save this document to your computer. Now, you can name it anything you want, but make sure that it ends with .py. This is gonna indicate that this is a Python script. You have now literally created an add-on. Now, of course, all the credit goes to Ewok Projects for creating this add-on. And big shout out to Thomas for telling me about this add-on on email. Now, you can go ahead and close the text editor. And then we're gonna go up here to Edit, Preferences. And in the Add-ons menu, we're gonna find the Install button. If you click on the Install button, you find the Python script that you just saved. And if you select that, and if you install the add-on, the add-on is now going to appear in the Add-ons section of the Preferences menu. And you can just check that to activate the add-on. Now, if you press the N key in Object Mode, you're gonna get this little toolbar on the right side of the screen. You should be able to find the add-on in this little toolbar. Now, any single object that you have in your scene right now, you can save that as an object so that you will always have it available so you can add it into any scene instantly whenever you want in the future. All you have to do is select the object, assign a name to the object. You can pick any icon that you want. And depending on whether you want to keep the scale of the object, you can also check Apply Transform, but you don't have to do that. Then you just click Create Primitive. And now if you open any other Blender file, you can just go to Shift A, add a new mesh, and the same way that you can add a default cube or a UV sphere or a monkey or anything else, you can now add this object that you saved in the previous file. So I saved a couple of tanks and I can just instantly add those tanks into any scene whenever I want. Now if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.